Hello everybody once again, this is Akuma Kazu. This is a much needed status update video for anyone that is wondering what happened for the past 4 and a half months. Whereby my last uploaded video was on 4th of July. For those who have been still watching my streams, I've always been broadcasting so you will know that I'm still alive and kicking. Most of you who are regular viewers of my stream will know what happened, but yeah, no, this is an official video now that I'm ready to talk about it. Before any of that though, I think I owe everyone and anyone who have been looking forward to new videos on my channel an apology. I'm really sorry for not updating earlier even before anything happened. My explanation for my irregular uploads on my YouTube channel for the first 2 months of those 4 months since 4th of July uh, will be that if you knew my content the way I am, I don't upload videos simply for the sake of views. That means that I don't in general produce content that is already available on YouTube for any particular game I cover unless I have something to you know, add to the conversation in terms of the content or anything that is value added regarding what I'm trying to talk about. This is to explain for the lack of Black Desert Online videos since most of the future content that you know, the Southeast Asia server was receiving were all well covered by other content creators since North America and Europe Black Desert Online were both published around 2 years earlier than the Southeast Asia region. My earlier video content was simply to provide up-to-date videos on the earlier aspects of the game since a lot of those has changed since videos released back then. Now that I've addressed that part, we get to what happened for the next two and a half months out of the four and a half months of my absence. I'll try to keep this part short since I don't want to really dwell on it for too long. Two and a half months ago thereabout, my ex-girlfriend of nine years broke out with me two days after our ninth anniversary. Yeah, let that sink in a little bit because I think some of you who met me before at events or in real life, in any way, you know, in any form or way, will be at least a little shocked at this news. For those who are curious about the reason, it is as simple as her not loving me anymore. She acknowledged and told me that she knows that I loved her very, very much and that I've always done and I've always did and I've always wanted the best for her all these years. She said that she lost the flame, tried, to re tried her best to rekindle it in her own way during our last couple of years. Unfortunately, this attempt at rekindling uh, happened without my knowledge and despite meeting up for closure you know, back then and trying what I can do within my own means, I was unable to convince her to give us and to give herself a chance. At the end of the day, I Qiu, okay? For those who do not understand Chinese, it essentially means that you can't force you know, someone to love you. I understood that she did it for me and she did it for us. And in our last meetup for you know closure, she said that I deserve someone that loved me as much as I loved her. There's actually a lot more I can say regarding this, but as I said, I think I want to keep this part short. At the end of the day, I told her this as well, that she is definitely one of the nicest and kindest person I have met in my entire life so far, you know, minus my own family. People who knew her personally would definitely agree with me as well. And yeah, I wish her I wish her all the best and that I hope that she'll also find her happiness. So for those who know me, especially those that watch my live stream you know, for the past three or four years, you will know that I share many of my own personal experience and in, you know in particular things that didn't go so well in my life. One of the main reasons I share my personal experiences is because I think that there's always something to learn from the stuff that, do, that don't go well in life, you know, in particular my own life. Similarly, this breakup taught me many things and I hope that I can help you, the ones who are watching right now, learn something from what happened to me. Which essentially is kind of the whole point of this video actually, you know, aside from it being a status update. So first and foremost is how to deal with a breakup, you know, that is quote unquote as, I won't say as bad as this but such as this, you know, a 9 year relationship. I learned this from, from the people that I knew personally who had experienced it in around the same way or in some case, cases a lot worse. You will definitely have to confront your emotions and this will probably result in crying. And yes, you will cry a lot. Okay, I cry a lot. It was especially hard for me since I am a very emotional and I am a very very sentimental person for those who actually know me. Okay. The first thing that you will do, you know, when a thing like this happens is that you will try very hard to suppress your emotions and feelings, you know, you tell yourself that you want to be strong, you tell yourself that you can go through this, you know, you're tough. You believe that you are, you know, you'll be able to make it and you try very hard, you know, to keep 
your neg negative emotions and your feelings down. So instead of pretending and you know being in denial, face and confront your emotions and feelings. I can't really tell you to do what exactly because it is different for everyone, but what I can do is share with you all what I did. Obviously, it will not be easy. I didn't just cry a lot during the first few days when it happened, I will continue to do so even after I have met up with her for closure. I would tear up on the train rides home while listening you know, to some emo love songs like Wo Huan Yan De from Sun Yan Zi or Gang Gang Hao by you know, Joker Xie. It is 9 years after all, you know, the void left behind, the memories, they don't just disappear overnight and they most certainly don't disappear after you cry. Nevertheless, I would say that confronting and facing my emotions back then is very important. It took me around 2 weeks of crying and after that another 2 weeks of tearing up randomly during the day, you know, you just sit there and you just start crying for no reason. Right? And after around a month, you know, in total, I eventually stopped feeling lousy and negative overall. For a 9-year relationship, you know, to, to just take a month to quote-unquote, you know, get over an intense heartbreak and heartache, I can say that, you know, confronting and facing my emotions definitely played a huge, huge role. You know, that being said, surround yourself with your loved ones, surround yourself with friends, and definitely talk to someone about what happened, you know, to you. So the next thing I want to share will be something along the lines of why, you know, or how this is this, that, you know, how did this happen after like nine years, you know, nine years is a very long time. My, my friends tell me nine years is a really, really long time. So what went, what went wrong here or, you know, what parts of this nine years, you know, went wrong. So when I first met her and obviously it cemented through the years, I knew exactly why I liked her and later loved her. This is how I actually kept my love for her consistent and if not growing all those 9 years, this was how I kept my flame burning all those 9 years. You know, on the other hand, you have her, you know, the flame being out and then she have no feelings for me anymore, you know, eventually. So unfortunately for me, this wasn't mutual in the sense that, you know, about my flame being kept consistent. So when we first got together, I actually asked her this very important question, which I knew back then was important. I asked her this question like, why me? You know, like why did you choose me out of so many other people that you knew or you know could have knew in the future if you didn't choose me? So back then she wasn't a person that knows how to express herself very well with words and she didn't actually give me an answer back then. I didn't think I didn't think much of it back then because I could tell that we were definitely in love, you know, the feelings were really strong. But you know, unfortunately for me, I didn't ask later on. Because if I did, then this might not have happened, you know, or it might have at least happened earlier and not 9 years later because I'm definitely not young anymore, you know, and you don't really want to waste someone's time in that sense, right? So if you're in a relationship with someone right now, you need to be able to answer this question yourself first. If you don't have an answer for it right now, it is still okay, you know, but you have to make sure that while the flame is still burning, you know, while two of you are still going strong, that you try to figure this out, you know. It has to be something, okay, the reason has to be something that stands the test of time. So, you know, her looking beautiful uh, right now in terms of like physically beautiful, right, cannot be a good enough reason because, you know, looks will fade over time. So it has to be something that stands the test of time. But it need not be anything complicated. In fact, mine was really, really simple. You, After you figure out the answer to the question yourself, you then need to go ahead and ask him or her, for her answer and if both of you don't have an answer you have to work together to find out you don't want to get married have children and realize that you never bothered to find out an answer to this question and i would say that this is probably one of the many reasons as to why things don't work out within people right and yet at the end of the day and why divorce rates are so high you know in the younger generation or my generation right now recently or you know in general overall for the last 10 to 20 years because you know people don't actually ask this question so this why him or her and why me question is actually very, very important. Ask the question after a year later, continue to ask and have an answer that stands the test of time. Okay. I've spoken to many people who are in a relationship, you know, recently for the last, you know, two months because of what happened to me. And many of them, you know, either both of them don't have the answer or one of them don't have the answer or one of them asks the other the, the question and the other person can tell me that, you know, they don't have an answer, okay? So try to figure that out and don't make the same uh, mistake that I did. So last but not the least, 
Okay, what I learned was that it is important, it is very important to continue to love yourself even when you are in a relationship. You need to remember that no matter how much we love someone, that humans are imperfect. Alright, humans will fail. Okay, that even in the most loving relationship that your partner will disappoint. And unfortunately, in my case, even though she did the right thing, she left me in the end. Right? So my my last my last nine years revolved around her and like my world was entirely around her. You know, it was a choice, you know, it was around us. It was a choice. It was by choice nevertheless. And I realized that I actually didn't do much for myself. I didn't have a proper holiday, I didn't have a proper break for the last nine years because I felt like I have never earned it yet. You know, I was trying so hard to work for our future, you know, back then and I lost sight of myself eventually. Nevertheless, after this happened, you know, I realized that this was important and I'm happy to share with y'all that I'll be studying motion graphic design uh, 30th November onwards for a year at 3D Cents, which is a private school I think in Singapore. Yeah. I've also, you know, uh, decided to, you know, live a more disciplined life, you know, sleep better, sleep earlier, you know, I don't, I don't sleep at 6am anymore. I've done that for the last year for those who don't know because of my Twitch broadcast. Uh, I mean, though I still sleep like, you know, seven hours, six hours every day, but I was living, you know, in an, in an unhealthy way, relatively. Yeah, so I managed to upgrade my IPPT from a pass to a goal last week, and yeah, you know, learning motion graphics design, after speaking with my course counselor, I realized that it is definitely going to teach me a bunch of skills, you know, software, basically skill set to make better videos and increase my overall production quality for my YouTube channel and Twitch live streams for sure, like, for sure. Yeah, so for those who want a glimpse of what motion graphics is like, uh, two of my two of the channels that give you an idea of what it is, just a slice and a glimpse and just a little bit about motion graphics you have in a nutshell, uh, which is this one. Yeah, they make really good videos. Yeah, and I'm, I'm subscribed to PewDiePie, okay, don't worry. Uh, you know, PewDiePie thing going on YouTube, but really good videos, you know, motion graphics is, you know, part of what uh, enable them to make beautiful videos like this, you know, and also the infographics show. So, you know, uh, infographics and motion graphics in a way, it's a, it's a part, I mean, infographics is a part of motion graphics in that sense. Basically, you know, graphics and graphics in motion, right? But that's just a small part of what motion graphics is. And from that, I think you can see that you can do a lot uh, with it. So at this point, I really do not know what the future entails for me. So I need to know whether I am I really talented in motion graphics design or not. And I don't know until my school starts. So I can't really decide, you know, the direction that I want my YouTube channel or my Twitch stream to go towards. So I'm currently in a transition phase. It's it's very frustrating, to be honest with you, but it's going to end soon. In, in, in 11 days, I will be going to school and, you know, I'll be able to see where I can go or how far I can go or where I should go. So, you know, in the near future of around four months, there wouldn't be any, you know, uh, video uploads on my YouTube channel. And for my Twitch stream, for my viewers that... That been watching my Twitch stream, yes, I've been streaming around 6 days out of 7 days a week, minus Sunday basically. And I'm going to cut it down to around 2 or 3 a week. Haven't really figured out a schedule yet because I need to figure that out when school starts. But I'm going to cut it down from now because I need time to practice and prepare myself for school on 30th of November. And you know, I got my Wacom and Tours Pro Paper Edition Medium two weeks ago at a tech convention. And you know, I want to go around practicing and doodling with it. So for my, you know, to apply to my school, the portfolio, I drew some stuff I can show you all. Yep, it's uh one two three. Yeah, this is this is me not drawing for the last I don't know fifteen years. I think I'm doing okay. You know, I don't. I'm not. I'm not like super proud. But I think I'm doing okay despite not having any you know drawing background or art background. Obviously, these things I just draw from references that I Google online. These are not my original uh work. You know, M four sixteen, M four A one S. I mean, you know, CSGO. So I drew things that that I like in a sense. You know, that was I can found my own Twitch emote as well. But yeah, so I really want to go around practicing and doing, you know, and getting myself ready for school and before school starts. So for those who are subscribed to my Twitch channel, you know, that's the update now. If you don't want to continue to support the channel, you know, regarding games, I perfectly understand and thank you for the support all these years. But for those who want to continue to support my YouTube channel and Twitch channel from the bottom of my heart, you know, for those who are continuing to support, I thank you. And I hope that after my one year stint at Motion Graphics Design that I would be, you know, able to create content that all of you who are still going to stick out with me, you know, stick, I mean, stick, still be around, I mean, I guess, you know, stick around. 
you know, hopefully I can create content that you guys are going to be proud of. But so with that, you know, I think that's it, man. Thanks for watching as always. And yeah, God bless. I'll see y'all hopefully in the next one. Yeah. God bless all of you. And yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.